the trial of Nigerian Bar Association NBA, President Paul Usoro, San, charged with N1.4 billion fraud suffered another setback on Thursday as Justice Chuka Obiazor of the Federal High Court in Lagos withdrew from the case. Obiazor is the second judge withdrawing from the trial following Justice Muslim Hassan withdrawal. Yusoro was first arraigned before Justice Hassan on a 10-count charge, but he pleaded not guilty. Others charged with Yusoro are Akwa Ibom State Commissioner for Finance, NSE Khan NKAN, Accountant General, MFON Udoma, Attorney General, Yui Metama Nwoko and Margaret UKP, said to be at large. Also named in the charges Governor Emmanuel Udom, currently constitutionally immune from prosecution, https colon slash slash www.vanguardngr.com slash 2018 slash 12 slash alleged dash n1 dash 4bn dash fraud dash nba dash president dash usoro dash arraigned dash gets dash n250m dash bail slash usoro was to be rearranged before Justice Obiazor, but the judge recused himself for personal reasons. For personal reasons, I hereby disqualify myself from handling the case. I hereby return this file to the chief judge for reassignment to another judge. Justice Obiazor ruled. Prior to Usoro's arraignment before Justice Hassan on deck. 18, 2018, his lead counsel Chief Wole Alana Pekin, San, informed the judge of a deck. 17 letter to the chief judge seeking the transfer of the case to another judge for an undisclosed reason. Alana Peckin said Usora would want the case transferred to UIO, the Aqua I bomb state capital, or Abuja. He said if the case would remain in Lagos, it should be transferred to any other honorable judge apart from my noble lord. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, alleged that the defendants committed the offense on May 14, 2016. The commission alleged that Usoro conspired with others to commit the offense within the jurisdiction of the court. He was alleged to have conspired to convert N1.4 billion, property of Aqua I bomb state government, which some they reasonably ought to have known formed part of the proceeds of an unlawful activity. The prosecution said that the unlawful activity included criminal breach of trust which contravened sections 15, 2, 15, 3, and 18 of the Money Laundering Prohibition Act 2011.